All eyes are on the first state. Hunter Biden is set to arrive at a Delaware courtroom today. He's facing federal tax and gun charges. Let's take a live look here at the courthouse. This is just outside of it. The president's son has agreed to enter a guilty plea here in an attempt to avoid prosecution. This case, of course, drawing the attention and the criticism from both sides of the aisle. ABC's Justin Finch breaks down what we can expect to see here today. This morning, Hunter Biden's son of President Joe Biden set to appear in a Wilmington, Delaware federal courtroom. The culmination of a years-long Justice Department criminal probe resulting in a plea agreement requiring the 53-year-old plead guilty to misdemeanor tax charges and enter a court-ordered program to avoid a felony charge of possessing a gun as a drug addict. There cannot be one set of laws if your last name is Biden and another set of laws for law-abiding Americans. Despite Trump appointed federal prosecutor David Weiss leading the Hunter Biden investigation, House Republican leadership have long alleged the younger Biden is getting special treatment. Attorney General Merrick Garland defending Weiss's investigation and decision not to prosecute. I'm saying he was given complete authority to make all decisions on his own. Now, the New York Times is reporting that there's an effort underway to get Hunter Biden's deal thrown out. The Times says Republican House Ways and Means Committee Oversight Chair Jason Smith and conservative groups filed briefs in hopes of convincing the Delaware judge to reject Hunter Biden's plea agreement, arguing that it's tainted after two IRS whistleblowers testified before Congress about the investigation. In a letter to Senate Republicans this month, Weiss refutes all allegations of political interference. U.S. Attorney, the Trump attorney. This is their opinion. It was not the opinion of the others there. And Hunter Biden is due in federal court later this morning. The White House not saying if any of his family will join him. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.